hello welcome to my channel i am walter boot if this is your first time here please subscribe and like good in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to calculate your income tax in ghana using the new gra tax rate so this is the pay as you earn income tax rate as introduced in 2022 let's see how it works now let's have an amount here which is five thousand first of all i will show you how to do this manually and also how to automate this using an excel function the if function to do this now let's first of all let's go straight and do this manually after that we'll go to the next step good so let's say we have five thousand this is how it is done first of all let's look at the first threshold which is 365 cities so put 365 cities here and at that rate the tax is charged what at zero percent so there is no tax which is zero cities now here we'll look at the balance between the 5000 and the first threshold which is 365 so that will be equals to 5000 minus 365 and we have a balance of 4635 so let's go to the table and see the next chargeable income which is 110 can this 110 go into our remaining amount yes it can so we put 110 here and that will be charged as what well five percent so here we have 110 multiplying five percent that is 5.5 cities now here again the remainder of this so that will be equals to 4635 minus 110 we have 4525 cities our next threshold is 130 cities and obviously that can go into this amount so let's bring it this year and it is charged at the rate of 10 percent so this will be equals to 110 multiplying 10 percent now the remainder 4525 minus 130 okay so sorry and that will give us 4395 cities what is our next threshold which is 3000 right so let's put 3000 here and that 3000 it charges is charged at 17.5 percent so this is equals to 3000 multiplying 17.5 percent that is 525 now let's look at the difference again so this is equals to 4395 subtracted so we subtract 3000 from that and our balance is 1900 and 1395 now let's see if the next threshold is 16395 and this our final amount is less than this so we use everything to multiply the 25 percent rate there so that will be equals to 1395 multiplying 25 percent now our tax uh, rates at each level has been calculated so let's look at our final tax here we just press uh, alt equals to and that automatically adds up the whole of this and how much do we have there we have 892 cities and 25 percent so if you are earning 5000 in 2022 or 2023 and beyond this is how much you'll be paying as income tax based on the gra tax rate now some companies have a lot of employees say 50 100 even 20 even if it is five you can't be doing all this manually in that case i will show you how to calculate for this easily using a function in excel the if statement 
this time we'll be using the nested ifs function so let's see how this works now we have an employee table here let's calculate for the income tax of our employees the first one being kwami earning five thousand cities so what we have to do is to just go into the formula bar type equals to if if our salary which is b2 so the salary will be referencing that as b2 henceforth instead of 5000 so if it is what less or equals to the first threshold which is 365 okay if it is less or equals to 365 value if true how should excel do charge nothing so we put zero there good now if that same b2 is less or equals to now we'll be using the cumulative income and the cumulative tax that is why i highlighted this in different colors for us to see so we are done with the 365 year now let's move to the 475 if it is less or equals to 475 what should excel do so now we are telling excel to what we'll tell excel to multiply the amount by the rate of five percent as indicated in the table so excel should multiply b2 minus the previous uh, tax which uh, sorry the cumulative income the previous cumulative income which is 365 because we have taken care of that already so if we include that 365 again the we will be paying more tax than we should so we have to subtract that from the remainder amount so we subtract that from our 5000 and multiply it by what the rate of five percent as indicated in the table now again if b2 is less or equals to the next cumulative income which is 605 what should happen is well, we'll subtract the previous one which is 475 from our 5000 then multiply it at the what the current tax rate which is 10 percent but before then at our previous level we had a tax amount of 5.5 cities 5 cities 50 percent charged at the previous level so we first of all bring that here 5.5 cities plus whatever we are going to calculate now which is what b2 minus our previous cumulative income which is 475 as i said earlier multiplying the current tax rate of 10 percent good now let's move to the next level which is what 3605 so if b2 is less or equals to 3605 what should happen we add our previous tax that was charged okay and at the previous level we had a cumulative tax of what 18.5 because at the first instance we had zero at the next instance we have five cities 50 persons at the previous instance that we just did we had a tax of 13 cities as you can see here so if we add that 13 to 5.5 we are going to get 18.5 so let's add our 18.5 to b2 minus the previous cumulative income which is 605 cities okay and multiply that by the prevailing or the current tax rate of 17.5 percent again if we are we will do this till we exhaust all the table here okay so uh, again if b2 is less or equals to what is the next uh level here that is 20,000 good 20,000 what should excel do we add our previous accumulated or accumulated tax 
which is uh five four three point five yeah that is five point five plus eighteen point five plus then there uh, which is here what do we have here 525 here make us 543.5 we'll add this to our next which is what b2 minus the previous cumulative income of 3605 cds multiplying the current rate of 25 percent good now this is the last level which is exceeding twenty thousand. now we've calculated up to when our salary is equals to or less than twenty thousand. but now let's go if what if the salary is more than twenty thousand. so that will become our what, false statement so all these are the true statement if it is true excel will return this if not let it return this false statement so in this case we won't repeat the if again so let's just tell excel how to do so what excel will do is to add our previous cumulative tax which is four six four two point two five that will be added to our current what rate which is what b2 minus twenty thousand okay or multiplying the rate of thirty percent now we we'll close our parentheses make sure you close all the parentheses that was used let's close the brackets that was not enough so excel wants to make sure that all the brackets are closed at the end so they want to automatically correct that for us we'll go for yes and yes let's see our tax has been calculated at 892.25 cities let's go and confirm if it corresponds with what we did earlier and yes that is that so we just drag this down or double click here and it fills automatically for all the other employees so this is simple this is how to simply calculate your income tax using the ghana uh, income tax system or the pay as you earn system the new one by gre thanks for watching this video if you like this video up to now please subscribe to my channel for more of these educative videos and hit the like buttons however if you are a small business i have a good news for you i have an entire payroll payroll management software or payroll management template that is very suitable for uh, small businesses so if you are a school or a school or a supermarket a warehouse or anything if you need any templates i will provide that for you but this is a payroll management uh, template that i created in excel instead of hiring a payroll consultant or buying expensive software that are technical and demand you to maintain that monthly and yearly i have this simple for you this simple template for you that you can use for the meantime and it's very good many businesses use it larger businesses still use excel and you can also do this let's see how this works very snappy about it now this is fully automated so you won't be typing much okay so i have some employees data here we have the payroll and we have the pay slip here so this is three sheets in total now let's say we want to add a new employee to our database i, I added the data entry form so we just click the form and yes you can see click new and a form is being popped up here just enter the staff number let's say the staff number is 13 and our employee is what appear okay just press new and our table is automatically ad uh, updated with appears data you can see it here now this is the main database this is what we'll be controlling the other sheets that we'll be working with let's go to our payroll now 
if we are preparing our payroll for the month of january 2023 all we have to do is to click the month here and select the month that we are calculating for say january and the year you are not typing anything everything is automated just select 2023 and see see what is going to happen here just enter appear serial number or staff number and everything will be calculated for him so we have the employee name the basic salary the social security of the employee which is 5.5 percent we have the allowance the taxable pay the income tax which we just uh, calculated using the previous tutorial and then if there are any deduction the employer's social security of 13 percent and the salary cost to the employer now what this will be calculated without entering anything just just enter appears what serial number or staff number which is 13 and press enter and everything is calculated for you you don't need to spend hours to be using paper or whatever or a manual sheet to do this everything is automated here for you and you can see this uh this data colors here this is trying to show you which people are receiving more or less of the salary so you can see the lower the deeper so this is actually is receiving the lower salaries which is 500 cities and you can use this to track it i'm going to be snappy and now we can even use this to prepare pay slip if your employers or your employees want pay slip this is very easy it is fully automated here let's just enter appears uh, staff id which is 13 just enter it and everything will be calculated for you to be printed enter and that is this the next thing is you just go, press ctrl p and you can print this pay slip for him or you can send it via email or even on whatsapp this is very simple i am giving out this template at a very cool price very very cheap price please purchase this and i can offer you even after sales uh, training if you want to know how to use this effectively please contact me and have this template it will save you a lot of cost contact me on 0559-305616 or send me an email on walterdboatin at gmail.com phone number again is 0559-305616 if you are outside ghana and your tax system is different from what we use here and you want a, a, a template for your business please talk to me on my email via my email walterdboatin at gmail.com every template that you, you you need being school management system stock management and any other template project management whatever it is concerning excel or data analysis please contact me i also offer trainings on data analysis hr analytics and using of all the tools to analyze your business data if you stayed with me up to this stage it means you really love this video hit the like button and subscribe but uh, before that, comment and tell me what you want or what you like best about Microsoft Excel. Bye-bye. Thank you.